Last time on It's a Narrowboat Life, we saw how the engine bay got cleaned out and how the guys at Gate Marina worked very hard to put in a new BMC or a replacement BMC engine um, so we could get cruising again. A lot of hard work, a lot of hours were put in, what a brilliant job they did in the end. But finally, once the engine was put in, we were able to go cruising again. Uh, well, good morning. It's a beautiful Sunday, coming towards the end of July, and after six weeks in Gayton Marina, as you can see, we are back on the cuts. Um, fully refurbished BMC 1.5 is back inside. We had to have some new running gear in terms of the, uh, the drive shaft and what's called the aqua drive, which basically from the gearbox to the prop shaft um, provides um, a bit of lubrication between the, uh, the, the drive position. But nevertheless, uh, yeah, we're back up and running and we are heading north, back on our summer journey, albeit we are now probably gonna be hitting the school holidays, but never mind. Uh, the journey north continues. Hooray! That was Norton Junction, that's the way that you go to Braunston. Deja vu from last year. And uh, to the left would be going to Leicester, straight on back to London. Well, everything was going swimmingly until we got to Braunston Tunnel and found uh, we had a hissing noise and found we had a bit of a split pipe on my brand new engine so i had to go get on my bike and get a replacement part but once that was fitted it wasn't too long before we were back on the journey and heading back towards leamington spa and revisiting warwick and then up the hand flight And when we did get to the Hatton flight, of course, we had to stop at the cafe for a good cup of tea. What I was actually trying to say there was we were actually at the top of the Hatton flight and are on our way to Leamington Spa. And this is just one of the pretty sights in the park at Leamington Spa, just opposite the spas in the beautiful gardens there. But we had to move on and carry on going north. So it's another beautiful day after a horrible rainy uh, weekend. And we are at lock number eight on the Lapworth flight. So brand new adventure for both Mandy and I now going north. Uh, the journey truly starts from this point where it's all new. So a lot more videoing and uh, editing and material to see on our way up the Shropshire Union. Good morning, it's another beautiful day, absolutely chucked down last night, um, but we are slowly heading the way we're up the North Stratford, we've done all of the Lapford blocks, and today we're going to Birmingham, Gas Street Basin in fact. M42. Morton the junction which is the end of the Stratford and joins the Worcestershire and Birmingham Canal. We've come to Birmingham when you're in Birmingham, you've got to come to Bourneville because in Bourneville there is Capri World. Capri World! So we're being big kids. Well, but you are. I'm being, I'm being the big kid. <laughs> there are free samples. Thank you. 
Roger Tucker Cameron, yeah. owns a run for free. Our family are staunch Quakers, and we originally came from the West Country. Father moved the family to Birmingham from our home in Exeter in 1794 and set up his business as a linen draper and so on. Things that I wasn't particularly keen on though was the queuing up. Queuing up for some of the activities were incredibly long, and it was obviously the school holidays, but you didn't actually get to see any of the chocolates being made. Lots of marketing for all the products, and including this little alleyway of um, the art and history of the products that Cadbury's make. And apart from the odd free samples, my only disappointment was you didn't actually see the workings of the factory. We did, however, have a good chance to wander around uh, the town and the village of Bourneville. Uh, Bourneville was actually a town built for the workers by the Cadbury brothers and, and family to make it a more in pleasant environment for the workers to work in and ultimately to be more productive. And it's pretty much as beautiful today as it was then when it was built sort of over 200 years ago. I had to take a quick short trip back to go and help my father with a couple of things. And this was a beautiful sunset that was uh, uh, cool on my train back up to, to Birmingham, where I met back up with Mandy, and we had a chance to have a wander around Gas, Gas Street Bacon. Gas Street Basin, and enjoy the sights and sounds, and the evenings of the uh, the bars and the restaurants uh, in this uh, beautiful part of the world, and thoroughly recommend going to Gas Street Basin. So we spent a couple of nights there, had a little visit to the Black Country Museum, of which was the only picture I managed to get uh, at the time, and then we headed back south um, through Dudley, Briley Hill, Merry Hill Shopping Centre where we did a little bit of shopping. And then we had to do this lock of flights, the, uh, the, the Briley Hill lock flights, which were extremely deep. But luckily we had help from the volunteers of the CRT who guided us down this little um, set of locks, all of which were 12 foot deep. So the, the hill was uh, quite steep to come down, um, but we managed to do it all in one go and managed to see some of the, the potteries of this part of the world where a lot of Staffordshire and Worcestershire pottery was made back in the 1700s. This is a canal that actually is called the Stourbridge Canal and goes down to Stourbridge and also joins up with the Stockport Canal, uh, which is where we headed next. We were just going down to meet some friends at a little place called Kinva. We've been to Stourbridge, or well not Stourbridge, but we've been up that way, Birmingham. We came down, then we went down towards Stourport, but we only stopped at Kinver, and now we're going to Wolverhampton. So we came down that way, went that way, and now we're going that way. We're on the Worcestershire and Staffordshire at the junction of the Stourbridge Canal. So that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time I'll tell you about our plan changes.